Welcome to the STO Summit in Korea. Joining us today is Mark Gurren. Um, he's the founder of Treasure Experience. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Before we dive into the questions, could you share a, a bit about yourself and your journey in the STO industry? I'm very young to the STO industry. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, it's a short journey. Only yeah. a year, less than one year. Really? Oh. So I learned about the STOs mm -hmm. uh, 14 months ago. We spent around a month deciding if we wanted to enter this wow. marketplace. Then we wrote our, our offering for the STO and we launched uh, on INX platform mm -hmm. December 21st of last year. Last year. Oh, so okay. I'm very young and <laughs> old okay. and everything else. <laughs> then what is the mission of the Treasure Experience and why should people join them? Well, that's an easy one. Okay. Have you ever wanted to find treasure? So All the time. Have you ever met anybody who didn't want to find treasure? Not really. No, everyone <laughs> wants to. Everybody has an idea of treasure. Yeah. So when we first started, my brother and I, in 1978, we met many, many people that okay. said, I wish I could go, but I can't go. I have a wife. She'll Aww. leave me if I do this. <laughs> I have a business that won't be there when I get yeah. back. I have a husband that won't approve. Mm -hmm. So uh, pe many people will say, I wish I could do that. And so about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. we realized that the technology was starting to catch up with the dream. Between the internet and satellite yeah. communications, mm -hmm. we realized that we could have the ability to bring people on live expeditions with us. Not 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but periodically tune in, we're about to make a discovery and people can join us. And in doing that, they can become part of the discovery in, we, a co-discoverer. Oh. So we all know about these great explorers ahead that discovered things, right? But everybody in some way in their life is wanting to find something. So this is a means where people can join us yeah. and share in the discovery, not the monetary oh. return, but okay. just the bragging rights. They can wear the shirt, mm -hmm. I found something, <laughs> or the hat, yeah. or the mug that mm. tells people, I'm, I have this thing. So that's the beginning, but ultimately, why should people should join us mm. is, yes, if you want to have an adventure with us, you're welcome to. But really, it becomes about you. Why join us is because you, we hope to inspire you to pursue your own dreams and goals and find your treasure in life. Cool, excellent. Then as CEO and co-founder of the Treasure Experience, why did you choose a digital security token raise capitalize your company well we had tried all the other mm. methods and that was what I presented earlier today okay. that it's very challenging for startups to raise capital yeah you have a limited reach mm. and you need introductions in the US you can't advertise it says oh I am really? doing this thing not oh. on a not on a private offering that's why they call I it see. private mm -hmm. but by joining the STO industry we were able to leverage being on a platform where the advertising is done for us yeah. and we can direct people and say check us out mm -hmm. without actually advertising the offering. Mm -hmm. and, so, and so we gained several things. We gained the ability to raise capital from a wider, a bro mm -hmm. much broader mm -hmm. audience and this would include people that we never met and in our business we never did that before. Mm -hmm. But the other reason is we found it compatible with growing the community the more people that join the mem become members yeah. can also and later take become investors oh. and, and what that's where they call the consumer yeah. consumer mm -hmm. investor mm -hmm. the other reason was the ability to exit okay. in the old system if you invested with us mm -hmm. we had to pay you back mm. in our experience we had some of the investors we couldn't find they just disappeared it oh. makes it very difficult to do business that's so, true. Yeah. through the platform with INX specifically, mm. we can distribute back to investors and they can receive their return in their digital wallet. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to actually talk to them directly to do that. Yeah. We can just send it back mm. and then INX specifically handles all the distribution oh. for us. Okay. And we realized we couldn't hire somebody to do that mm. for that price. So, it was mm. very good for us. Cool. Then how do you see STOs impacting traditional finance and investment? I think it's just like telephones in many ways. Probably too young, but 
There used to be a time when you had to dial the phone. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> your parents do. You dial the phone. Yeah. And today you could still maybe do that, mm. but you couldn't. You couldn't go online from that phone. Yeah. You couldn't pay your bills. You couldn't use a map. Yeah, to everything's find online. So, so I think the STL will mm -hmm. take traditional investments like the evolution of telecoms and other forms of business. Mm -hmm. And so it'll make it easier for country companies to enter. The mo barrier to entry to re be able to reach a broader audience mm -hmm. is much less in terms of time, the cost mm -hmm. and the time and the money. And because you'll spend less time and money raising money, you'll spend more time doing the business. Sure. Yeah. So that was, I think that will be, ha I, I think that's coming. We're seeing it, it mm -hmm. wasn't hard for us to say, this is going to be, be huge. <laughs> In fact, when we signed up, we were yeah. thinking, this is so good, I hope they let us sign up. Mm. Cool. That's a good point. Then in terms of market trend, um, are there specific sectors or industry that you believe are particularly well suited for STO industry? Yes. Anything that involves brand awareness, community building, mm. anything that it, where you, you can appeal to the, the consumer, mm -hmm. that they can say, I would want to buy those goods and services. Yeah. So all those consumers can be looking at you as potential investors. Mm -hmm. And then again, that's that whole concept of at some point different kinds of tokens being issued to consumers as investors and having extra benefits by being both. Mm -hmm. And so I think that any, any company that, that is considering building a brand, mm -hmm. bu building a community, uh, I think is perfect for this. Oh. Okay, but still STO industry is quite new to people, then for investors who may be new to this industry, what key benefits would you emphasize to encourage their participation? Uh, it's easy, that's an easy answer. Mm. Your, most investments won't make money, True. truthfully, yeah. if, in especially early stage companies mm. will not, most of them will not succeed. And if you don't have the appetite for the risk, don't do it. But on the other hand, that same scenario, you can make a hundred times your money back in mm. some cases with small amounts of money, mm. which is typically for the larger investors, yeah. the angel investor, the mm. private equity guys, the ones that are billionaires. And yeah. Well, how did they become billionaires? Well, they started out with billions already or millions. Mm. But to the small investor, they have the opportunity to to participate in those kind of lion's share profits. However, they must do the due diligence and they must understand the risk yeah. and they must be willing to lose mm -hmm. in order to win. And if they're not, then just play safe and don't do this. Mm -hmm. But if you're hungry, have the appetite for a, mm -hmm. a larger return. If you learned about Microsoft before they went public mm -hmm. or Amazon before they went public, yeah. you could make 100 times or more your money. But by the time they're already out there, you can only do the small play and make small profits. So mm. this, is, this is going to open up the future Amazons and Microsofts to the public, to the retail investor. Mm. And again, just like any other sector, most will not succeed, but those that do, they can make many, many times. Cool. Um, for our last question for today, what advice can you offer to the companies looking to embark on a similar journey and enter a steel industry? I think it's the, only can speak from my own experience. Yeah. We knew nothing when we entered this. Oh, we okay. had no background in cryptocurrencies. We, mm -hmm. I didn't know with blockchain. I knew <laughs> the words, but yeah. I, I think the issuer, the company mm -hmm. has to decide if that's the path you want to be on. And the criteria would be, are you interested in a global reach? Mm. Because even on any platform, like with us with INX or any of the others, you have the potential to reach investors and even business associates and partners and affiliates across the globe, of different languages, different cultures. So that's one reason. Okay. The other is, if you, if a small company, you want to get out of the direct responsibility to when that investor gives you the money, you mm -hmm. have to count to them personally, and they have access to you, and they yes. own, they, they actually sometimes may think they own you. Mm -hmm. So this makes it less personal okay. and more fun. Mm -hmm. And so those are the main reasons. And I think, again, it's the, the, if you have that kind of business that you think you want to be in community building and build this in consumer base that can trans, you know, transfer to investors or vice versa then I would say that. But there's one more thing. Mm -hmm. 
you can't be a static business in this business. You can't be a business that only has good news once a year because people need small miracles regularly. Sure. They need good news. They don't get good news in the, ta in the newspaper. Yeah. Sometimes they don't get good news when they go home. So if they want to talk to you, then you have to be able to per periodically feed them good mm -hmm. news. Anticipation, the greatest space, is what's going to happen next. And in, if you can provide that, mm -hmm. it'll work for you. Cool. Thanks for joining us today. That's all for today's interview. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much.